Wow, what's the sound with the business is? The lunch to rare business. Top to activity business, man. Believe that facts or no fallacy. Um right now. I wanna talk to y'all, man. I wanna let y'all know. I feel like some of us well, they might consider some of us too gangster for the music industry, man. You know, like the music industry, um, the clothing industry, the movie industry, all that. I feel like they have gatekeepers. You know what I'm saying? What I mean by that is they have some sort of control when it comes to who enters that gate into that industry. You know what I'm saying? So I want y'all to be mindful. I want y'all to be thoughtful. You know, I want y'all to be considerate. When y'all think that y'all could just, you know what I'm saying, say certain things and do certain things and people just not paying attention or people just don't pay no mind or they just see it as entertainment because everybody don't just see certain things as entertainment. They take certain things serious, you know? So... Um, I want y'all to understand that, you know, like everything is controlled in these different industries, you know, and whether it's right or wrong, whether people had an accurate perception when it comes to you or an inaccurate aspect, you have to understand that you got to watch what you say. You got to watch what you rap about. You got to watch you know what I'm saying? Who you offend. You got to watch what you talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, they they like niggas to be talking about killing and, you know what I'm saying, certain things. Like, you know what I'm saying, that street that's going to influence people to go out and, you know what I'm saying, do something like that or whatever. But that's just what the industry into, you know? It's like, like just like, for instance, with women, you know what I'm saying? Like, sex sales. It ain't too many female artists that really took off like that they wouldn't like really promoting sex you know what I'm saying the sexual content those are the females that really go above and beyond expectations if anything so you know what I'm saying like the spiritual female artists that just you know what I'm saying want to rap about certain things that yeah, they get some sort of recognition but it's a difference when you selling sex when you talking about sex when you wearing sexy things you you know what i'm saying you're you're very sexually attractive that's different you know but if you're out here talking about who you gonna rob you know what i'm saying and what you gonna do to a rapper and you know what i'm saying what you gonna do to a producer or a manager or something like that like people take that into consideration man People really be like, yeah, I, I really don't want to fuck with dude. Even though, like for me, for instance, right? I'm one of the best to ever do this shit. Top 10 activity business, Valencia business. I'm one of the best to ever do this. So, you would think like, why this nigga not in the industry? Why ain't nobody reaching out? Why ain't nobody really trying to sign? Why ain't nothing really going on like that? See, me, they been was planning on blackballing me years ago. You know what I'm saying? So it's a whole different ball game for me. It ain't like I just popped out of nowhere. Like people been had their eyes on me. People knew, been new. Yeah, he he definitely definitely gonna get in the game and you know what I'm saying, do something historical, which I already done that anyway, without even being in the game. But at the same time, what I want y'all to understand is that when people got it out for you, they got it out for you. And some people, they'll let him go. They'll be like, yeah, he ain't no threat. He ain't finna do that. Or she ain't finna do this and do that. So it's a whole nother curriculum when they know it's something different about you. When they know you got potential to really take over an industry. You got potential to really do something powerful. Like I said, they been trying to stop me long time ago. Like, long time ago. People been spreading rumors and lying on me and 
had certain expectations for me. So they was like, if he becomes successful, then I'm definitely not going to have a chance with whatever I'm trying to do. So that's really what that that's about. But at the same time, we got to watch what we be doing. We got to watch what we be on. We don't want to seem like no threat. We don't want to seem like y'all getting this game. It's over for such and such. I'm going to do this and that, the, the, what, this and that, that and this. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to chill out and understand that we trying to make a way for ourselves through our talents, through our gifts. You know what I'm saying? So if things don't go out, work out with you and another artist, you know what I'm saying? You don't got to get online or you don't got to make no diss song. You don't got to do all that, you know? But at the same time, it is what it is, and I can't tell you how to react to your situation. That's all on you, you know what I'm saying? Like, But at the same time, though, we need to understand that and take that into consideration because, like, I just rep really what made me, what influenced me to make this video is the fact that I know I'm not the only one going through some black ball type of shit when it comes down to the music industry. And I want people to understand that I'm not even seeming like a threat like that other than me just making great music and making hits and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But I know it's a lot of niggas that feel like, man, I, he get in the game, I'm going to play with him, I'm going to try him, and he going to fuck around and do something to me or it's going to be some shit. But, man, honestly, I'm staying the fuck away from y'all. I don't need to be around y'all, man. If you're going to play with me like that or disrespect me in any form or fashion, any way, you should just know to stay away from me. I don't got to be around none of y'all. You know what I'm saying? When I sign my deal and I get things going, man, I'm away from you. I'm handling my business. I'm on some other shit. I'm not even trying to really kick it with no niggas in the industry like that unless you like a real street nigga like my people. Cause y'all don't, y'all might not know, but I got people already in the music industry. I ain't finna talk about who they are, man. My people been running the music industry for years, nigga. Like facts, well, I ain't even gotta do all that talking and bragging or nothing. Where you think this talent come from? I ain't the first nigga that could rap and sing in my family. Like this, this is generational. Like this is inherited, and I want y'all to understand that, man. This is inherited. Believe that. So. The thing is, right, what I want the up-and-coming artists to think about, you know what I'm saying? Y'all want to be rappers. Y'all want to be singers. Y'all want to do certain things. Don't come off as a threat. Man. Don't be coming out like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I get in the game, it's over for this and for this person and that person. Like, just chill and handle your business and stay in your own lane, man, because people will definitely close you out of that industry. People are gatekeepers, man. These people been... You know what I'm saying? People will keep you out to keep you from getting in the industry just because they feel like they won't be able to get, get a chance to work with you. You know? Or they feel like you're going to do something to them for playing with you or something. Like, it's real. It's serious. So I want y'all to understand that. But like I was saying, though, I listen to the Sizzy How to Rob song. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, she really like, you know what I'm saying? Like, really naming bitches in the industry. You know what I'm saying? Or got a rap name or whatever, however you want to put it. And I could tell, like, it's from a truthful situation. Like, it's not from no bullshit. Like, she just making something up. I could tell, like, it's just serious. So I don't know what y'all got going on. Or they didn't want to work with Sizzy. They felt like she was a threat or whatever the case may be. But, you know what I'm saying? I just want her to know, like, you need to chill out. You know what I'm saying? If you trying to make money off this rap, like, you you can't really... Yeah, they like that. They feed into that. But at the same time, bitches definitely a blackball you or, or definitely say, nah, she ain't getting in or nah, this and that, that and this. And it's serious. And you will never know who the fuck behind it, who doing what. You know, so I just want to say that. It's serious out here, man. You got to pay attention. You never know how people be feeling about you. People be really wanting to work with you. Like, I know people want to work with me. But they know I'm a real street nigga. Like, I'm on, some, I'm on a different level. So they might be like, hey, he ain't going to want to work with me. And they don't know I might would work with them if they wasn't on some bullshit. But at the same time, like I said, I'm going to be in my own lane when I handle my business, man. I ain't got time to be dealing with none of that bullshit. But I just, this is a message for 
the the artists, the up and coming artists, and you know what I'm saying, even the artists that's already in the game, man, because people were already been and made it, and they'll still be getting blackballed. They'll still be trying to stop them from doing shows and getting features and stuff like that. You would think, man, I already made it, so ain't nobody finna play with me. No, they would definitely play with you after you done made it, after you done signed the record deal, after you done, you know what I'm saying? Handled your business for the most part. You just got to deliver. You got to keep delivering. So it's different, you know what I'm saying? And I'm so, y'all ain't gonna need feed to all that. But y'all know y'all definitely finna get dealt with. You know what I'm saying? And I just want y'all to know it's different for me. Because niggas, been, they've been playing with me for decades. They've been playing with me for centuries. You know what I'm saying? And they want to see me fucked up just so they can ride by and, you know what I'm saying, do what he just did. They want to just irk me, so they want to die. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about that. If you in the way of somebody well-being and they don't know you, and even if they do know you, that's even worse. But if they don't know you, like just random people just – got it out for you just mad at you and just want to be able to just say you in a fucked up situation just to make themselves feel better and they think they could just play with your well-being and play with your people bloodline and play with your people legacy then they want to die man. facts with no fallacy so y'all handle y'all business i'm gonna handle mine y'all just gotta be aware and understand that it's gatekeepers in these industries man and you need to just move strategically and then about you just being submissive or just letting people handle you any type of way. But when you understand that it's people that can let you in and keep you out, you got to move strategically and take that into consideration because these people do not give a fuck and they'll die about that shit. They'll definitely die before they see you really get your sign on. They'll definitely play with you and just try to put you in fucked up situations just because they feel insecure about who they are as a person. You know what I'm saying? So it's serious. And I just want y'all to think about that and just move strategically and handle y'all business wisely. Believe that. Y'all know it's top tech activity business. It's Valenciaware business. Y'all get at me or I'm going to get at y'all. Y'all know what the business is, man. Facts or no fallacy. Y'all know we beat up and we G'd up. We all at the peak of the hierarchy, man. Believe that.